differently abled differently welcome back and you are watching a bold differently the inclusive africa conference took place on the 25th and 26th of may with the theme advancing digital accessibility and assistive technology in africa this is how the two days event went down the third annual Inclusive Africa Conference took place on the 25th and 26th of May 2022 at the Trademark Hotel. The theme was Advancing Digital Accessibility and Assistive Technology in Africa. When I began this journey, the Enable journey in 2009, the road forward was very clear. Blind children deserved the same educational opportunities as their sighted peers. The fact that computers at schools for the blind were only for the sighted completely baffled me. Having had the good fortune to pursue higher education and a life in the United States, I knew that computer literacy was life-changing. Our start was modest. With a simple donation of $3,400, we purchased 10 refurbished computers and we partnered with the Thika Primary School for the Blind, and we enrolled about 100 students back then in 2009. The last two inclusive Africa conference have provided a dynamic opportunities to explore global best practices that have improved accessibility and inclusion. This third conference, therefore, comes at the time when the world has learned lessons from the COVID-19 pandemic that points out the need for the promotion of the rights and well-being of all persons. The two days event was organized by Enable in partnership with other organizations. The Kenya Bureau of Standards, in partnership with Enable, is launching the first ever Kenya standards on accessibility of ICT products and services. Standards play a critical role in defining and describing our everyday environments work environment, social environments, and living environments. ICT and the related activities in this environment should meet some minimum accessibility requirements. The new standards that were considered on 13th of May this year are set to ensure that public and private sector digital products and services are accessible to persons with disabilities and older persons who are largely disconnected from most e-government services and e-business-owned digital platforms. Enable seeks to equip youths who are blind with assistive technology skills. So far, they have reached six schools. Enable has a simple mission to empower the blind and visually impaired youth in Africa through computer assistive technology. So we focus on establishing assistive technology labs in schools for the blind here in Kenya. So on a regular day, we have about a thousand blind and low vision students who attend our programs. Kenya has 16 schools for the blind, so Enable still, still has a very long way to go. The issue of assistive technology and skills training is not unique to schools for the blind only. It includes all other disabilities like schools for the deaf or those even with physical disabilities. It's also not just unique to Kenya. Other African countries need these types of programs to help them prepare youth with disabilities to participate in the digital economy. Discussions during the conference centered around digital accessibility and how the already established platforms can be improved. Let's not just look at the, at the, at the point of um, those who receive the service, those who give the service. I think the continued training on uh, the preparation of these platforms uh, to ensure that they are universally designed so that uh, we are able, all of us, to access. A number of the things that some will have touched on obviously requires a rethink around how we develop not only our products but also our digital channels. And you know, in digital, we always talk about design thinking, and you know, design thinking is putting the human at the center of everything we do. For persons with disabilities, it can be difficult to find a new job. They are constantly confronted with barriers that sometimes are simply insurmountable, especially in the rapidly changing digital world. The same goes for older people who have especially become alienated by the digital revolution. It should never, never be so. 
Persons with disability have the right to have good conditions in their workplace, to live independently, to, equal, to have equal opportunities, to participate fully in the life of their community. They all have a right to a life without barriers and it is our obligation as a community to ensure their full participation in society on equal basis with others by developing conditions more so digital that can accommodate them. The main highlight was the launch of the National ICT Accessibility Standard for Products and Services in Africa. The standard provides a framework for gauging and ensuring pub public ICT products and services are sensitive to the needs of persons living with disabilities. The idea that it creates inclusion for people with a wide range of abilities and disabilities and will enhance participation at work access to education for all, access to health information, development of advocacy, and peer support networks. The ICT authority uh, has a key mandate of standardizing the implementation of ICTs in the public service. And therefore, this standard becomes very key uh, in assisting us uh, in designing accessible infrastructures, uh, systems and services that will therefore enhance uh, the access of the services by the citizens. Therefore, we are looking forward to the implementation even as we uh, launch the standard and we will uh, work in collaboration with all the stakeholders in the implementation of the standard uh, within the public sector to ensure that our ICT services are accessible uh, by all uh, that uh, need to access the public services. Those in attendance applauded the initiative as it's a platform that will help to shift the direction of the accessibility conversation. I would like to thank Enable for putting together the first in-person Inclusive Africa Conference in your pursuit to advance inclusion, digital accessibility, and assistive technology. I am confident that the high-level discussions that will be held at this conference will go a long way in promoting inclusivity in employment, education, financial services, ICT policies, digital innovations, and mobile assistive technology. It is indeed commendable that Kenya is the first country in Africa to develop its digital accessibility standard. The best thing that has happened these last few decades is technology for persons with disabilities. And it became our best ally, as the young girls have really alluded to. So the, as a government, we'll work the journey with you, Irene, and many other disabled persons organizations to ensure the barriers in front of persons with disabilities to a greater extent will be minimized. We always argue it's not about our impairment. It's about barriers across millions of us with different impairment. And one of the most important of all is attitude of communities toward those with disabilities. And such conversation, very healthy conversation, we're going to address how we can even tackle attitude of society towards those who look different than them. DJ Wiwa, who was the official DJ for the event, also appreciated the opportunity to perform. My job is to entertain. It's an honor to be here. Because also in your town, on here on the link. Yeah. And here, long it. Julius Mbura, the head of legal department at Enable, says that the platform is an opportunity for him to be a symbol of hope. The kind of lessons we're giving them is for an independent living in the future and for them to know that there's potential for them and disability is not a limitation. I would like to be the symbol of hope and the icon, the beacon of you know, the possibilities. I want to be that. I want to be, you know, that figure that um, if, if you, you, you go to, to a conversation about, you know, people with disabilities, they get to, to understand that, you know, we've done this and anything that people thought is impossible for, you know, that, that's why I do so many things from driving, riding motorbikes and skating, all that. It's because I love all these things and I do it with love and enjoying myself to show people that we can have fun. Let's take a look at the UN Convention 
on the rights of persons with disabilities. Article 25 of the UN Convention on the Rights of Persons with Disabilities states that state parties shall, Part B, provide those health services needed by persons with disabilities, specifically because of their disabilities, including early identification and intervention as appropriate, and services designed to minimize and prevent further disabilities, including among children and older persons. And here is the tip for the day. The ICT era and the whole question of um, uh, assistive technology as we know it today, it could be either an enabler or a disabler for people with disabilities. It could uh, bring about inclusion and it could also bring about uh, exclusion. And in this era, when all economy is geared towards the digital uh, uh, operations, uh, we are having problems because we seem to be going back and forth, particularly among people with disabilities in being unable to cope with the changes that come with the digital changes. Well, folks, I'm afraid that's where we end the show for today, but be sure to join us every other Sunday. My name is Jane Theuri. Enjoy the rest of the viewing. We are here and we are strong. Let's be counted as we move on. Make a difference, change lives. As we tell our different stories, we are capable, beautiful. We are born to do great things. We're unstoppable, incredible, cause we're differently abled, differently.